Yo, Winternet, I am Calvin, and this is an update on the new Space Engineers uh, 1. Point something something zero twenty five something. And um, I thought there was going to be conveyor belts in this one, but I was wrong. There are some cool uh, other things, though, that I didn't even know were you know on the to-do list for the developers. But we got glass, and it's one-way glass. So you, know, you have this on the outside, you, know, you can barely see through. You have it on the inside, you can see out pretty dang well. I built a big ship with it. Um, there's three new cockpits, I'm going to show you first before we check that out. Um, well, yeah, there's basically one new cockpit, but there's, uh, yeah, I'll go through it. Like, this is the normal cockpit for a big ship or a station, and it's not changed at all. You, you go into it, there's no option for first person or anything, it's always third person. This one is made for small ships, but there's an, a big ship version out that uh, looks exactly the same. But, you know, you can go in first person, all that cool stuff. Then there's this, that's just for a big ship, but you'll notice the screen is a lot smaller than the other one over there. And this one's really cool because you can actually be in first person and look around and stuff. And you can also be in third, um, but you can, so you can be inside your big ship uh, with your windows and stuff and, uh, you know, actually drive it in first person. So I'm gonna go and show you that and then um, I'm going to show you something that's really kind of interesting. That it might be a bug, but I'm pretty... I made this really neon colored because I wanted to. Well, I haven't walked through after I painted this. It's really freaking vibrant. But, um, yeah, I walk through here, and I'm just like... Here's my cockpit. I got the windows all around. And I can... Uh, also, I have... Um, I have, you know, windows around the border and everything. And I got a med bay. Uh, you got a little hallway. And that's, you know, two... Uh, reactors and then we got a roof that's made of glass and it's pretty cool I'll show you the outside of it to prove that I can not I can't I can't see through it um, but check this out oops so you're, you know you can be in third person or you can be in first I'm gonna try out in first all right I turned off thruster damage for this just to demonstrate I don't think I have enough reactors to do this Yeah, this is like pretty freaking cool. Oh, almost crashed. Yeah, so I made a copy of this ship, and uh, we'll go take a look at it. Well, hell, we'll stay inside this thing, and I'll just show you. Um, <laughs> we might crash into it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, dang, that did some damage. But as you'll notice, that the uh, glass did a lot more damage. Or I'm um, sorry, the uh, light armor has a lot more damage opposed to uh, the uh, glass. I think I really jacked this shit up. Or the ship up. <laughs> I meant to not swear, but... Oh yeah, okay, so I lost my other thing. That's gonna crash. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Wait. Yes. Ha! Suck it. Alright. Um, let's just put this bad boy over here. Whoa! Okay, I apologize if there was any uh, weird delay in that. Um, the Titanfall in the background decided to like close out everything and be like, Hi, I want to update! Titanfall kind of blows, by the way. It's a good game, but it's just like, there's no... It's only just like... Uh, what's it called? Uh, multiplayer. There's no single player, and it's just it's terrible. Like, whoever... What was it Bungie who made it or something like that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's like really just come on. Um, but I have some cool things I want to show you real fast. Um, first thing I need to actually get rid of this. I'll just mess around. But we have a wall of light armor and a wall of just windows. And uh, I colored them up, made them all fancy. But check this out. So we got um, you know, our Gatling gun. Which, you know, these are made out of both of glass, so I will give it that. But, um, check this out. Not a scratch. There we go. Took three or four hits, and, uh, look at the damage compared, like, on the windows compared to the actual ground. Okay, I'm get rid of this stupid thing. Uh, this is insane. One second. I just need to get rid of that. Um... We'll check the durability on these. 
That's at 82, 99. These are obviously at zero because they're gone. 99, 100. These, 15, 21, 8, 13. So this, these, uh, these glass, thin glass bulletproof panels are way, way stronger than um, this, the light armor. So then I have this. I'm just going to show you how many rocket blasts it takes to get through uh, this thing. One. Yeah, one. And notice how, you know, it's obviously a lot thicker than the windows, but the windows are just far superior in armor. Like, that's just... I'm thinking that's that's what I'm thinking the bug was, um, because that's kind of, you know, it's kind of strange to have that be a... Like how that works. So it's probably a bug. They're probably gonna patch it. But if they don't, and it's not a bug. That's something you should take note of because if you make your ship primarily out of you know these, say for example, you can't afford, uh, you don't have enough uh, iron or yeah iron for uh, heavy armor blocks. Which by the way, I should do a test on heavy armor uh, to see the difference between the two. I think I will. Okay, so one hit took a huge dent out of it. Two hits, you know, even more. Let's uh, yeah, that is just that's that's far weaker than the windows. Look at that. That is that is insane. <laughs> that is crazy, isn't it? How many licks does it take to the center of the bolt of glass? I love how all this random like crap flies out. Okay. So the moral of the story is uh, build your ship out of windows. Whoa. <laughs> um, all right, look at that. That is just torn to hell. But, um, there's that, and there, I'm going to show you this real fast in a second, uh, the new block they added. But first, I made a couple copies of the ship because I wanted to basically just destroy it and show you what it would be like. Uh, this is one I was just testing around with, and it took a lot of hits to get to that stage. You know, the ramming it, of course, was kind of weird. But, okay, so this direct hit took this thing out. Um, I'm not sure, like, why, but... Yeah, as you can see, it's much stronger. Like, these windows compared to uh, the armor is just insane. That's, that's really, you know, that's not normal, right? Tell me, tell me that's not normal. I'm not crazy. <laughs> It's awesome. I'm not going to, you know, deny that. It's really sick. I think the light's pretty strong, too. Maybe not. Oh, actually, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Not a scratch on the windows. <laughs> oh, that went to hell. What? What? Where? Are we oriented? What the hell is here? Okay, well, we're under. Okay, we're over there. Here's, here's what's going on. Uh, look at that. Still, I rammed into here, and of course, there's you know there's scratches and stuff, not visibly, but like actual damage-wise. Not a lot though. Like that's that's really crazy. That's really I like that. Um, in my survival series, we're gonna be using the windows and stuff, and uh, you know, instead of those great things that are, you know, these the little vertical windows. Either those or these. There's also a bunch of different kinds uh, for like the different uh, different um, angles and stuff. Okay, there we go. That's whatever. 
So that would be the outside of it. And then you go on the other side, which would be the inside. And you can see how perfectly cleared. Slight blue tint. And then, like, I like the whole one-way thing. It looks really modern and cool. But, um, yeah, there's that. And then there's these. Uh, right here is just basically I made a large ship with a warhead on it. And the new block, which is called the, um... Anti or the artificial mass, which basically it's um, like f the the old trick that they people would do for you know having a ground vehicle in this game would be to have uh, landing gears on the roof and then weigh it down with like chunks of rock. Basically, this is a more professional version of doing that because it's able to actually hook onto the ship and be toggleable. You can turn it on and off. And um, basically, what it does is it makes the uh, ship itself uh, uh, affected by gravity. Meaning, uh, so I have. Uh, well, I, I had a gravity generator over here, but it was affecting the gravity over on the, uh, the station over to my right, so I took it off temporarily. But basically, I'll throw this on, and these are little target things I set up. So I'm going to throw on a, uh, power supply, and just, bam, gets sucked right in and blows everything up. It's pretty cool, right? We just, uh, I'll, I'll put a, uh, one on the small ship over there. <laughs> Oh, wow, that one took a lot out of it. Whoa, alright. Bye, have a great time. Ooh, getting some lag. A little bit of lag. Alright, cool. But yeah, let's take a look at one of the small little ships. And let's put, um... Let's see, let's just... Not P, uh, T. It's worth me to copy this. It gets weighed down. And it actually seems like a pretty graceful fall, honestly. It's similar to Gary's Mod, how if, uh, if you've ever played Gary's Mod, it's, um... Okay, right, so it looks like... <laughs> Let's try this out. Uh, turn on artificial mass. Artificial mass. Whoa, alright, alright. So, yeah, basically, it's like an anchor. Let's see what happens when I go up into here. Oops, not P. K. <laughs> oh, hello. Well, that just that evaporated the shit. Oh, pretty much. Uh, that's how you can actually retrieve parts. That's actually a really good way of retrieving parts if, if your stuff goes flying off. Oh, this is what I was talking about—the whole gravity generator getting all wacky. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Oh my god, I can run up this thing. <laughs> Dude, I'm Spider-Man. Da -da -da, da da Okay. But yeah, that's basically all there is to this update. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you have any cool ideas for stuff we can do with these new, uh, these new, um, holy crap. <laughs> um, whoa, that looks really cool. Well, listen to that noise. Sounds like a Inception kind of. Hey, whoops. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. Oh crap! I <laughs> whoops. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Leave like, subscribe, comment, favorite, all awesome stuff, and I'll see you in part 18 of my survival series, which probably will be up tomorrow. Today, probably not. Um, but yeah. Peace out.